crazy funny wedding photos. Mernski too, bad. All right, number 34, Shrek Wedding. This is a lovely story about ogres. Or maybe they just have a weird Disney fetish. Yeah, tie me up, Rapunzel. Oh, German Bob, you're so kinky. Number 33, Moo. Your trousers look delicious. Hey, just try not to step on anything during the photo shoot. You wouldn't want to drink that through the church. Did you guys know cows have four stomachs? The cow has four stomachs and undergoes a special digestive process to break down the tough and coarse food it eats. They even bring it back up and chew it again. Gross. Don't have your wedding in a cow field. That's all I'm saying. Number 32, when nature calls, this is a bridesmaid really rising to the challenge. Someone's got to hold this dress while she pees. Is this a porta potty? Why is this wedding at a state fair? <laughs> Just kidding. This porta potty is like a double wide. Way too nice for a state fair. Also, this is a very ambitious wedding photographer, don't you guys think? Number 31, naked wedding. It's like they're marrying Chippendales. I bet this is a wedding at a nudist colony. That guy does have a sweet bow tie though. Number 30, hot pink. Why is he doing the Dr. Evil while she is pouting on the ground? Besides, he looks a lot more like Jaws than Dr. Evil, and it looks like her right breast has a giant beard. Nothing says I love you like hairy boob. 29, the pinch. He is really enjoying that butt squeeze. With nails like that, I think it would be painful. This looks like a match made at an ITT technical institute. Number 28, that creepy look. He looks like he's thinking about doing it in an uncomfortable place. Or that he has a shovel and lie in the back of his Volkswagen. Yeah, creepy. She looks like she just started selling Tupperware. Number 27, well, she looks happy. He looks like he thinks he's gonna get eaten when the honeymoon starts. But to her credit, he does kind of look like a piece of fried chicken with hair on top. Number 26, the Speedo? And I'm just guessing, but I don't think that kid will be the last. Is he naked too? Also, nice bow tie. Seems to be a theme. Number 25, just married. That is how you take a lady to a honeymoon. Nothing says, I will protect you forever, like a tank. Apparently, you can hook it up at tanklimo.com, but you have to live in London. Hey, that's a smashing lorry, darling. I had to look up tanklimo.com, you know, just cause. They have 20 years of experience. You too can drive a tank around London. Number 24, a barbecue wedding. She loves him cause he's funny. And nothing says I love you like Budweiser and a burger. America! Number 23, worst bridesmaids ever. They said open bar, let's get white girl wasted. Woo! Hey, you guys, look at that giant fan that has a camera on top of it. <laughs> Number 22, yeah, can I get a Big Mac, a Coke, one of those little hot apple pie things, and um, a marriage license? That'd be great. It's too bad they couldn't get a clown to do it, though. Ronald McPreacher. He gets you hitched and clogs your arteries. Number 21, Guy Fox and Morticia. Why is he holding an axe? I hope they're not going to a creepy abandoned lodge for their honeymoon. All work and no play make Guy Fox a dull boy. I wonder if they got married on the 5th of November. At least that way, he'll always remember. I heard Cousin It also made it to this wedding. Number 20, uh, Hello Kitty. His and hers Hello Kitty wedding. I don't think there's any way this was the groom's idea. Unless of course he owns Hello Kitty. Maybe this is like Santa Claus in the mall. You just get dressed up, and then instead of sitting on an old guy's lap, you get hitched, and then weird emotionless cat people take pictures with you. Number 19, chastity belt. For the love of Pete, call a locksmith or something. Bridesmaids are generally worked up on their wedding day anyways. I don't think you should add power twos to the equation, schizo Bob. Yes, we quite agree. Number 18, gross panty. Well, at least your last name won't be gross anymore. Match made in heaven. Speaking of heaven, bacon! Remember, I'm cooking something wrapped in bacon. If I get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month, tell us what you would like me to cook wrapped in bacon in the comments below. And I'm not so sure about ice cream, you guys. It seems like it's gonna get really messy. Moving on, number 17, first kiss. Sometimes that first kiss can be surprising, especially if you're trying to get a really deep one. Get in there and be some muddy little guy. Number 16, they make a nice pair. Ha, she had a great pair there. Ha, man, fruit puns are great. Tell us your best fruit puns in the comments below or on Twitter at TheSchizoBob with the hashtag, hashtag fruit puns, and we will feature the best ones in an upcoming video. The King in the North! The King in the North! This picture shows Catelyn Stark right before she got her throat slit at the Red Wedding. That was most likely the worst wedding of all time, at least the worst wedding on TV ever. It's kind of given Macbeth a run for its money. I posted this photo in the Las Vegas stand-up comedy page and let them have a crack at it. So number 14, here we go. 
Michael Vitiello says, The invitation said casual. Adam Scott Waddle. In the dowry, the groom was also given two middle-aged swinger accountants to handle his taxes. Joe Brill. Dad, I said tiger stripes. You know leopard spots make you look fat. Jeanette Barron. Most families have that one creepy uncle. Mine has two. Devin Sheffield. Wait, Bob, that guy seems familiar. Yeah, well, whatever. Devin Sheffield. Viagra is expensive. Just get two old guys instead. Check out all the comments in the link here. If you guys like having comics riff on these pictures, let me know in the comments below, and we will feature more of them in the future. I guess even centaurs get married. Quit prancing around and focus, you do. This was a rough photo shoot. Number 12, Golden Showers. Honey, I didn't know you invited R. Kelly to the wedding. I feel fountains of joy pouring all over me. Number 11, got to be Photoshop. Sweet mullet though. Thanks, Icy Mice. We had fun making a video about the Rio Olympics. Man, that place is crazier than a bachelorette party with an open bar. We thank you for saying, also, great vid. This is one of my favorites. And you'll know I'll hop on to your idea to do the top video games. You guys tell me what the top video games in the comments below and I'll get working on it. Number 10, Arr. what is with the arrow or the crown? Why would the heck would you want to get your wedding dress soaked? Man, I hope she didn't fall in. Yeah, this is why you don't let Uncle Rick be the photographer at your wedding. Number nine, Aunt Ruth. All right, bye. Have a nice wedding. Hope the beach is good. Okay, I know it's kind of weird that I'm still hovering here. Number eight, Star Wars wedding. I would hate to be the best man. That's gonna be really hot to be Chewbacca. It would be rad to have Obi-Wan Kenobi give the bride away though. Speaking of Star Wars, number seven, Star Wars cake. Is it just me or does this job of the hut look like a giant slug? Not the most appetizing cake ever. The strawberry is really classy up though. If I was gonna get a Star Wars cake, I would get a cake shaped like the Millennium Falcon. Duh. Speaking of weird cakes, number six, weird wedding cake. I just don't know if I could eat a bite out of my own cake head. Maybe a bit morbid for a wedding. Number five, when the laundry guy cuts in front of your wedding photo shoot, Oh look, they're shooting a wedding. Wee. Number four, shotgun wedding. They say the dad brings the shotgun so you won't back out. You better get back up to that altar, boy. That groom's expression is priceless, though. The bride seems really happy that her dad brought it. He might have even gotten them a just married car from his used car lot. Seriously, though, who wears a red tux to a wedding? Looks like they made it out of carpet from a Red Lion Hotel. Number three, Bondage Ball, sometimes the hotel you booked for your wedding, is also holding a bondage and fetish convention that same weekend. Ah, these are the moments dreams are made of. Number two, painted attire. Looks like everyone was using their ab roller before this wedding. Oh man, I'm never gonna get six pack abs. Just threw my back out first roll. Number one, building collapses. Well, it might be a bad omen, the building collapses directly behind you during the ceremony. In their wedding video here, you can see it just randomly goes down behind them. Awkward! Man, it was a good run, Masha, but I think we should just be friends for now. Uh, everyone feel free to eat the food and the cake, and uh, yes, have a, have a wonderful evening. Seeing a lot of these people gives me hope that someone will actually marry me someday. You never know, it could happen. What, quit looking at me like that, internet. Thanks for watching Schizo Bob. Tell us what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe.